issue of Mungeki became very apparent, which informed us to find out what we were going to do with that br brutal regime of President Moy, when he wanted to castrate all young Kikuyu males of the ages of 13 and 19, when he suckled them and killed many of them, and many of them were thrown in Karura Forest, many of them were thrown in Gong Forest. In addition to that, and you'll allow me to speak because I have a very strong history with the Mungiki issue as somebody who led the UN to come into this country. At the same time, Moi was vilifying the young Kikuyu male. He also vilified the Kikuyu women, female, young kids. So I called um, Koigi Oamwere, who is still alive and who can verify this story. I invited him to come to London with the young Kikuyu Kikuyu males that had come in running away for asylum and at that particular time they had been denied asylum. So we had to lobby Kenneth Baker who was the Prime Minister at that particular time. We had also to, lab, uh, to, uh, to lobby Tony Blair and Lord Steele, a great friend of Raila Amolodinga. By that time he was uh, Steele of the Liberal Democrats. We went ahead and also included the St uh, Scottish National Party and also other political parties to look into the issue of thematic assassinations and killings of the Kikuyu male, uh, of the Kikuyu young male, and depopulating their women. And this history that we are writing down. As a result of that, we lobbied the United Nations Human Rights Commission, of which they sent our special rapporteur, Professor Philip Sons, who came on a fact-finding mission in this country and then he found out, what he found out was very appalling. He made his report to the United Nations in New York, and then the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees in Switzerland came up with guidelines on how to treat asylum seekers from this nation, especially of the Kikuyu origin. And that's why we heard for the first time lots of them being given asylum in the UK. I went ahead and joined the uh, the then president of Ghana, Jerry Rawlings, whom we convinced to ship out some of these Mungiki leaders. As a result of that, many of them were shipped to Mozambique, one of them being Ndunge Wariungi, who was shipped, shipped out with a, pass, with a Portuguese passport. You can find that out from him. And because of thematic and systematic killings, our lives were put in danger, save for James Orengo and Mwishimiwa Rai Lodinga, who is sitting here, who came in London, made many trips, many trips in London to console with us with those, and with those particular families that they had lost their siblings. I hold the former president accountable for the thematic elimination of the Kikuyu community, something that Gashagwa is now repeating. And let me assure you that we are appealing to the British government not on cameras, I am appealing to the British government not on cameras, but we know what you are going to do. To ban those who are involved from stepping foot in Britain and EU. To ban those who are spearheading these semantic syst and systematic killings of young Kikuyu men and women from setting foot in Britain, in UK, I mean the USA. And I can assure you that when I say it, I mean it. And I know what I'm talking about. And with Baba being here, and the other lawyers being here, and other leaders being here, I can assure you for free that we, having been